I will be using my bamboo LUT printer with default settings to print all of the plastic parts. I've started with front frame as this part is the most tricky one. Front frame requires you to put the G-code mouse on the beginning of the lens cap layer. This way you can put the lenses inside. I'm using the same lenses as before, only this time one of them have a notch on top. As you can see, printer started its thing. It will pause automatically when it's time. With printer pause on certain layer, it's required to slow it down to 50%. This will make it easier for plastic to bond with lenses. As you can see, it's stopped now and it's ready for the front lenses. I'll pop those two right in and I'll resume the print. Now I just click resume and watch it happen. Lenses can lift up slightly due to a lot of air coming from the cooling fan. If that happens, make sure to put the quickly inside. After one or two layers, you can set the speed to 100% again. You can now let it do its thing. Printing is now finished, I'll remove the build paint and pop it right off. As you can see, the front lenses are perfectly integrated into the front frame. This makes the whole build much thinner. Left temple was printed using AMS, this way I could print it with gold logo on the center. The right temple didn't use dual color, so I printed it separately. I've added simple three supports to prevent it from collapsing. It's very important to use manual support, as automatic ones can reach inside the cable canal. There is a slight discoloration in the middle, but it can be fixed by printing more than one piece at a time. This is my custom video connector board. It uses audio jack to connect the glasses to video source. I'll use very thin thinner wire to make the connections. Start by preparing three long wire pieces. Make sure that the wires are longer than total temple length. All three wires are supposed to be threaded through wire canal and go out the other end. Don't use too much force to prevent them from bending inside the temple. Take your time. Now that the wires are inside, you can solder the connector board. Solder pads are exposed so that you can easily find which wire is which. You can do that with pretty much any multimeter. I connected the video cable to find which wire is which and solder them to the driver board. I've used alternate solder points. After soldering, I've carefully pushed the board into the plastic part. Now I can attach the connector cover. I'll use my spare soldering iron for that. I've used gold filament for the connector cover as I feel it gives my glasses nice contrast. Now it's time for the worst part. The flat cable installation is a bit tricky as you are required to bend it a couple of places. It's supposed to look more or less like this. I'll try to show you how you can bend it on your own. Remember to be gentle. First, start by bending it backwards like this. 
Don't use too much force. Now bend it like this. Now measure 20 mm and bend it there. Now measure 10 mm and bend it into zigzag. The final bend is inside the temple mount. Bend it so it looks like this. The front frame is now ready for the temples. First push the temple into the hinge and connect the driver board. My flat cable is slightly crooked since I've bent it too far. Now you can close the hinge using a piece of filament. Just melt both ends using soldering iron. This is what it should look like. Make sure that the flat cable goes under the hinge. This is the board cover. It's mounted using four really small screws. I've also designed a cover with cable holes so that you can use your board without soldering. Cover should snap right into the temple. Make sure it's facing the right way. And here are the screws. Screws should tap right into the temple plastic so those will hold the cover really well. And now I can attach the left temple. It's done the same way as the right one. This piece right here holds the magnifier and combiner plastic. It's modular so that you can design your own. For example, you can modify it to make the image appear further into the scene. Start by pushing the magnifier inside. Round end should go near the combiner. Combiner simply slides inside the gasket. You can use pliers if it gives you trouble. It should go all the way into the plastic. And now push the optics into the plastic frame. It should snap into it. It should be pretty tight. The optic module also works as a display cover, so it won't fall out during use. And that's how you can easily make my glasses all by yourself. Thanks for watching and see you next time.